recently I have spoken to a couple of people who were creating blocks and they had an issue. They, they couldn't understand why the layers that they were using were not working properly in their drawings. So uh, I'm making this very basic video to explain how blocks and layers within blocks work with blocks. Okay, because there's a whole uh, a need to understand this when you're placing a block inside another drawing. Okay, so on the screen I have six lines, as you can see, forming two triangles. All six of these lines are on layer zero. Okay, now I know normally in the world of AutoCAD we say we never draw on layer zero. This is probably one of the few times where I will say you can, and there's a reason as to why. Um, this drawing has no other layers except layer zero. So let me go ahead and add a couple of more layers. I'm going to just do layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. And layer one will be color one, and layer two will be color two, and so on and so on. Okay, So I am just making these layers so you can see respectively what they do. Also, um, understanding why we're doing what we're doing here. Okay, so in this uh, set of lines, I'm going to take one of these lines and I'm going to put it on layer one. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to put it on layer two, and this line and I'm going to put it on layer three. Okay. Now I'm going to make a block out of it. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to make an internal block. It doesn't have to be a W block. I'm just going to make a block here. So block command. I'm going to call this one, um, let's see, triangle one. Okay. I will go ahead and convert this to a block. Sure. Or actually, I'll delete it from the drawing so you can see. And I'm going to select the objects. And I'm going to select this object here. And I'm going to pick this base point. This is my base point, And I'm going to say, OK, so that block is now gone. It's still in my drawing, but not part of the drawing currently. I'm going to leave these lines on layer 0. And I'm going to create another block. So block command. I'm going to call this one triangle 2. I'll use the same base point. I'll select these items. And now I'm going to delete the blocks. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make layer four current. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and insert. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my block. And you see there's triangle one, triangle two. I'm going to go ahead and right click and insert into this drawing triangle one. Now layer four is current. So triangle one comes in on layer four. I'm also going to go ahead and insert triangle two. Layer four is current. Triangle two comes in on layer four. And look at the colors here. Okay. So what happens is when you add layers to your blocks, you're adding another level of control. Now, there's, there's no right or wrong here. It depends on how much control you need to have here. But understand that now I have to, if I want to change the colors of any of these lines, I have to go as far back as, you know, or even freeze them. I have to go as far back to that layer and turn it on or off, freeze thaw, change the color to whatever I want, you know, and there it is. I control that at the blocks layer level. Okay. But you also have to remember that, let me go to make layer zero current. If I should change the color for layer four, I am not changing anything on this block because those lines are controlled by these layers up here. But look at this block right here. No matter what I do to layer four, because all three of those lines were on layer zero, those lines are controlled by the current layer that I'm on. And that happens to be layer four. Okay. So you just have to understand that. Now there's another level of control here you need to be aware of is that just because these are all in separate layers, remember they're still when I select this block, they're still on layer four. So when I freeze layer four, that goes away. And that's where a lot of the confusion comes in. A lot of people say, oh, I've got these three layers controlling that block on the left, but when I go change the color of the layer that they're on, nothing happens. Or when I freeze the layer, everything goes away. Why is that? Well it's because 
there's so many layers involved here. So if you just understand that, you'll find that uh, understanding and creating blocks can be a lot more easier and manageable. I hope this helps.